Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 41. This week I'm going to continue last week's discussion on the valve sensor. So last week I went over the uh, general makeup, how it's improved from the previous version, and I went through a tutorial on how you can use it. This week the big news is that this product is now available in the Dreaming Robots Camera Act Store and the full build materials and schematics for the PCB are available on the Camera Axe Wiki. I'll put links to both of those in the show notes for this episode. For the majority of you, I think, uh, based on past experience at least, uh, you'll just end up ordering it from the web store, and uh, that's pretty much all I had to say. For the few people who want to build it themselves, um, I... Uh, I just sort of wanted to point out some of the problems that you're going to run into when trying to keep the cost lower than the version that's on the store. Uh, the first one is this printed circuit board. Obviously you can't do a single circuit board at a reasonable price so you'll probably either have to make your own circuit board or go with uh, a prototyping circuit board layout like wire wrapping or uh, breadboarding the circuit. Uh, the other problem a uh, portion of this is going to be buying the actual solenoid here that, that opens and closes the valve. Uh, that, uh, I couldn't find a reasonable source for just a, a single solenoid. So uh, hopefully people who want to build it um, will end up uh, finding alternate sources for the, the solenoid or else the, the cost to build this is actually going to be more expensive than what it is on the the Dreaming Robots store. Uh, the problem is uh, shipping, basically. I couldn't find anybody who would sell a valve that I liked at uh, reasonable cost with reasonable shipping. So I put a link to one of them in the bill of materials that you can uh, go with, but if you're just buying one, it's gonna be really expensive. Maybe, I mean, if other people find better sources for uh, this valve or an alternative valve, all it really needs is quarter inch uh, standard piping threads and it should uh, work with uh, my design here. So if you find this valve cheaper or if you find uh, alternate valves that'll work with this system that are, are less expensive in, in single unit quantities, uh, you know, let us know because I'm sure that the, the people who want to build this on their own uh, will be interested in, in that kind of information. I hope everybody uh, enjoys using this valve, whether they build it themselves or buy it from the Dreaming Robot store. I know that uh, I personally have uh, greatly enjoyed the improved quality of this valve sensor over our previous version, and I'd like to thank the community for uh, a lot of ideas that went into making this a much better uh, valve sensor than I would have come up with on my own. Thanks for watching.